Do you know anybody in your life who wants information on how to stop smoking? My name is Brooke Becker and I am a student from the UAMS College of Pharmacy and today I'll be going over a way to help you or someone you may know stop smoking with a product called the nicotine lozenge. Nicotine lozenges are used to help an individual stop smoking. They are used as nicotine replacement and come in various flavors like mint or cherry. You may also find the nicotine lozenges marketed as brand names Nicorette and Nicorette Mini Mouth and Throat. In addition to lozenges, nicotine is available as gum, inhalations, and transdermal patches to aid in nicotine replacement. Nicotine replacement products reduce cravings of nicotine from cigarettes. It is important to take this medication as indicated by your doctor or pharmacist or as stated on the manufacturer's packaging. Nicotine lozenges are available in 2 mg and 4 mg strengths. The lozenges are to be taken when the urge to smoke occurs while following the 12-week dosing schedule previously mentioned. The dose is based on the time to taking the first cigarette, which is the time between waking up and having your first cigarette of the day. For instance, if you smoke your first cigarette within 30 minutes of waking up, the larger 4 mg dosage is recommended for your 12-week treatment. If it is beyond 30 minutes, the 2 mg strength is recommended. The lozenge should not be chewed. It should dissolve slowly in your mouth over 20 to 30 minutes. Make sure to minimize swallowing and occasionally move the lozenge from one side of the mouth to the other until completely dissolved. Do not drink or eat for 15 minutes before and after use. Acidic food or beverages may decrease absorption of nicotine lozenges. You should only use one lozenge at a time and do not use one continuously after the other. Nicotine lozenges should not be used if you are pregnant or have any heart-related conditions. Talk to your doctor or pharmacist about your health conditions and see if this is right for you to take as nicotine can increase heart rate and blood pressure. If you are pregnant, you are recommended to quit without medication and should instead consider behavioral counseling. Consider monitoring your blood sugar if you are diabetic. Consult a healthcare provider before use if you are on a sodium restricted diet or have a history of seizures. Lozenges are useful in reducing cravings, however, they must be taken exactly as directed for the best effect. It is important to choose a quit date to stop smoking and to start taking the lozenges on that date. Common side effects of taking the lozenge include nausea, hiccups, or heartburn. Stop taking this and talk to your doctor or pharmacist immediately if you experience symptoms like nausea, vomiting, dizziness, diarrhea, weakness, tremors, or a rapid heartbeat. This could indicate signs of nicotine overdose. Also discontinue use and consult a healthcare provider if mouth problems, persistent indigestion, severe sore throat occur, or if you feel the need to use the lozenges for longer than the 12 week dosing schedule. In summary, the nicotine lozenge is one of the many ways to stop smoking. It's best when combined with behavioral therapy and you should talk to your doctor or pharmacist today if you have any questions about the medication or your own health conditions. This information is provided for public education purposes only and is not intended to substitute for a manufacturer's directions or consultation with a licensed pharmacist or healthcare professional. All medication, including those available over the counter, can be harmful if not used as directed and taking more than one medication could result in harmful drug interactions. Please consult a licensed pharmacist or healthcare professional before taking any medication or changing an already approved or prescribed medication plan.